Hi guys, I am Aileen Bernos. I'm a host, content creator, and an entrepreneur. Today, I am going to show you my shelf. Right now, we are here at my office. So this shelf is just the some of my favorites and some of the most recent buys that I have. But I have another shelf at home. So hindi lang ito yung books ko. I have quite a collection of books. I started loving books and reading when I first got my library card. Ah, first grade. Tapos in explain nung librarian namin na, oh, you can borrow books, ganyan, one at a time. Tapos nakakatawa kasi every single year meron akong overdue <laughs> na libro. Like, no year throughout grade school, high school na nabalik ko on time yung books. I feel like I just cling on to them so much <laughs> na at the end of the year, I always have something na kailangan ko hanapin, ganyan. Just because books just tend to live with me. So yun yung first time na I fell in love with books. After that, I love reading books because number one, it's a way for me to escape. It's entertainment for me. It's the best way to really boost my creativity. I feel like I've been reading my entire life and it's just been a comfort to me. I like seeing how stories play out, different characters, but I also like seeing myself in those characters. To me, it really just opened up so many possibilities na parang, ay, pwede pala ako maging ganto, ay, pwede pala maging ganto yung life. Oh, that's how it's like to be a pilot, an, an author. I guess as a kid growing up, to me, like seeing those in the stories of different main characters, Super inspiring siya to me. It was very, very inspiring growing up. So how I got into stories was my dad would always come home after work. Siyempre, he worked like a 9-to-5 job in Paranaque. Tapos taga Novaliches kami. He would be super tired, pero he would go out of his way to give us story time. Tapos yung story time namin, it would be characters very similar to us. So he made us into princesses. Tapos siya yung king or something. Nalaman ko as I was growing up na my dad was making up the stories as he went along na yung mga bedtime stories and fantasy stories na he would tell yung pala yun yung nangyayari sa work yung mga sinaslay niyang dragon yung mga seven mountains ganyan to me that was that made my childhood so so amazing as in I feel like I, I lived a magical childhood because of that I guess the first one when I was younger was Star Girl. I got it from the school library. But basically, Star Girl is a book about like an eccentric kid. That's also me. Ganon. So for a while, I kept calling myself Star Girl. And then eventually, when I grew up. I saw myself in a lot of travel memoirs. So, Eat, Pray, Love. <laughs> it's it's the movie cover. But the first time I read it, I think I read it in the library. Because I just really resonated with the character. Because, you know, somebody who loved travel, healing from a breakup, and just somebody who was discovering herself. This was me in my early 20s. And I think to, to this day, I'm still like this. I remember every time Christmas time we would go to Baguio. I'd go to Mount Cloud. That was I'd request my family na please well, give me my alone time. That was I would just be there and I'd look for books na I can find that I guess really acquainted me with Filipino literature. So I hoard ako ng Adarna books because I found out that they were selling children's books na bundles. Uh, I think I have some here. Some of them are at home, and I I just wanted to get you know for the future generation, my future kids. Di ko alam. I just feel like reading has been such a big part of my life. Na if I don't get to impart that to my children, parang I would have I would probably fail as a parent. So yon, like I immediately bought as many as I could when they had that sale and. Actually, it opened up my eyes as well to like the local publishing industry. Like super, when when I bought that bundle, nakita ko yung so many other stuff that they have online I could easily buy. So I'm actually heading to Spain soon, and I have a ina anak claiming na ina anak. Actually, they didn't really get me as a godmother, but I'm. Basta nina ako, basta nina ako. So I I bought like a lot of Filipino books because. 
the kid is going to be raised abroad. Pero sabi ko, that kid better learn Tagalog. So, yeah, I, I bought a lot of those as well. So, wala lang, sobrang interesting how I didn't know this. Like, as an avid reader, for the longest time, I have been sourcing my books from thrift stores, book sales, ganyan. Pero recently, I've gotten into really supporting local publishers. So, yeah, ang, ang saya lang. I have it right here. So this is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and yes, it is fiction but I feel like this is really representative of a lot of things that are going on in our society. She was recently quoted na sabi niya, when I wrote The Handmaid's Tale, I thought it was fiction. Plus now it's parang like kind of happening. When I read this, naisip ko yung disparity between gender roles, genders in general. It solidified my values as a woman and the things that I am vocal about online. I would probably bring these three with me. So two of my favorite books, another travel memoir is Wild by Cheryl Strayed. I'm an avid hiker and when I read about her journey on the Pacific Crest Trail. I was so, so inspired. Eat, Pray, Love, just because it's the classic for me. And finally, this one, man, is The Art of War for Writers. I got this book by James Scott Bell, I think at a book fair in school. So I would bring this, I guess, as a reference, because if I were stuck in an island, I would use that time to be an author. It inspires me. It scares me. <laughs> so this this really made me cry because I felt like we live in such a doomed society. Lalo na kung ganto yung mangyayari sa atin. And in some ways, you know, this does happen. Hindi lang as as grave, but it really made me cry to see like the possibility for future generations if we go down that path where women's rights aren't given importance. Mm -hmm. I would say the characters from Beach Read. So this is a book from Emily Henry. She's an author that I recently discovered. I love reading adult romance or new adult, contemporary, ganyan. I just feel like if I go to dinner with them, I'd have a lot of insight as to how it is to write, publish a novel, etc. Plus, very, very interesting characters sila. And also in love sila. So, you know, I could manifest that happily ever after as well. The oldest book that I have is a gift actually from my Nina. The Secret Garden by Frances Hog Hodgson Burnett. It's such a more great illustrated classics. This it really really opened my eyes. I no tong tuwa talaga ako kasi Diba? Each page has an illustration. It's a really good story as well. I think I got it when I was in grade 2. So that was like a year after I got into reading from the school library. September 19, 2002. Hi, Ayin. I'm so glad you're into reading books. Hope you like this one. Happy 8th birthday. Oh my gosh, 8 years old ako. So from Ninong Joey and Ninong Maids. I don't have it with me, but I have been on Audible a lot because I've been exploring different ways to be more efficient with my reading since I'm kind of busy nga ako and What the Hex, it's called What the Hex, it's about a witch family, parang meron silang La Isla Bruja, ganyan, and then a romance novel but also fantasy. So that's also been a really good way for me to explore different Titles that I normally wouldn't be able to get in mga bookstores here or like secondhand bookstores. So yun. If magaka fire, wag naman sana. I would save this book. Cause everything else I could probably repurchase, reread, whatever. But I would save this Back to the Future children's book that I found at a random bookstore. As in, it's save talaga to because I'm gonna give this to my child. This is one of my favorite movies, so when I saw it, it has a children's book version. I needed to get it. I don't know where I'll ever see another one again, so I'll definitely save this one. 
So the first one that I would most definitely recommend is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Dr. Stephen Covey. So I read it during the pandemic. Again, I bought it at a thrift store. Tapos, it changed my life. As in my career, I feel like it boomed the moment I got to really understood what the book entailed and I really understood what it meant to have good habits and values and have clarity in your life. So I would say na read that for sure. The second one that I'd recommend, whenever people ask me, Ms. Ayin, how do I improve my English speaking skills, my English writing skills, I love recommending the elements of style because when I was in college, yun din yun na recommend sa akin ng profs ko. And it's a good reference book as to how you can be a better writer or just how to construct better ideas. If you love fiction, I would say The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's one of my favorite, favorite fiction books. Na talagang napaisip ako, oh my gosh. So yung effect niya sa akin when I read it, it was just, ugh. I was mind blown. Gusto ko ganun, like super page turner and I think a lot of people would really appreciate that. The fourth one, I, I think I would go back to self-help, essentialism. I love essentialism kasi parang essentialism is such a good way to look at life. It's an approach to productivity but also being able to narrow down the things in your life down to the essentials. And I think if you understand that concept, it's easier to live, to make decisions. I read it as an audiobook and I haven't looked back since. You your first audiobook, actually. I think I cannot complete this list without Eat, Pray, Love. <laughs> because I'm just such a fan of Elizabeth Gilbert. If you want to romanticize your life, basically, and to me, that's been a really helpful trait. Like, being able to look at life and see the little joys out of the things that you do. That's a good book to give you that perspective. We're lucky that at this point, we have a lot of ways to read. So for example, one of the things that I use is this Kobo Aura H2O. I got this e-reader from Spain because I don't have access to English books. So I bought this and I bought all of my books online. And ever since, it's been four years for me. Of course, I can't always bring like a big book with me. I have I have this and I, I still get to read wherever I am when I travel. For times naman na I have to multitask like of course I would travel from one place to another, 2 hours in traffic, I got to save my eyes. I tend to go with audiobooks. Para iniwasan ko siya before because I was like, no, traditional books are superior. Pero once I discovered audiobooks, like I could be fixing my room, cleaning up my office, putting on makeup for a shoot, for example, I'd be listening to audiobooks. I would be so boring. Ni naman sa I'm like I'm so interesting or whatever. <laughs> Pero <laughs> feeling ko lang like yung color sa buhay ko. It wouldn't be the same way. I feel like I wouldn't be a content creator for one. I wouldn't be a storyteller. I I wouldn't be a host. I wouldn't be a public speaker. I probably would have gone with whatever my parents suggested because all of my ideas come from books. If not for books, I wouldn't have the ability to tell stories the way that I do now, like the way that I create videos, the way that I speak. They're all from books and I really give them all the credit because that's how I learned how to speak. I mean, from my internet, a lot of people ask me, why do you speak like that? Asan ka natututo maganyan? Libro. <laughs> I hope you give it a try talaga. Like, do not be intimidated by it. Don't think that you have to finish something agad-agad or it has to be a classic. Alam mo yun? Like, reading is something that you have to do on your own. You get to decide what kind of thing you read. There was a time in my life that I was kind of shy about the books that I read. Na parang, oh, I like fantasy and young adult. But like, whatever. <laughs> That's the genre that keeps me reading. So discover what it is that you like. They ask me about books that would help them get better at English. Kasi I teach English on TikTok. But I keep telling people, 
read whatever interests you. As in, to me, it doesn't matter kung it's an academic book, if it's a non-fiction book, it's a romance book, young adult, as long as it's written in the language that you want to learn. Kung halimbawa, nag-aaral ka ng Filipino, mag- magbasa ka ng Filipino book. If you want to learn English, le- uh, read an English book. And that just helps. I think more than the genre or the type of book or the title, I think it's the habit of reading that you need to foster. So I keep telling them, guys, I cannot give you a single book that will help you get better at English because you have to want it. So I always give them a question right back. Na parang, ano bang gusto mo? Like, what are you interested in? Like, what what would make you finish an entire book and when i was younger it was shampra young adult fiction it was fantasy it was mga sci-fi and then when I, as i grew older it became self-help and then i loved romance so it really depends on you so that's why i keep telling them like guys don't ask me for recommendations to get better at english as long as you love to read it will help you get better So anyway guys, that's my shelf, but that's my very limited shelf. I hope na you guys enjoyed listening about my my books and my favorites and why I love reading so much. These things, these have really shaped the kind of person that I am and I'm, I'm really proud of who I've become. So. I hope that you can also discover yourself in literature. I hope that you can find books that resonate with you, books that entertain you, books that inspire you, and I hope that you can also fill your shelves with so many memories the way that I have. So thank you guys for watching, and maybe I'll see you on the next one. I need a part two.